and today I'll be showing you how to make a game for a completely zero dollar budget. So first, you have to get a free game engine, obviously. But let's say you want to figure out art first. So this is really cool thing that I use for pi pixel art. It's called Pixel. It's all s put in the link description. Link in the description of the thing. So let's make a simple pixel sprite. I'm going to make a circle with the face. So, a nice little circle with the face. Nice little person in for a tradition will make a yellow. And export as PNG. So there is two game engines that I use. One is called Scratch, which is just this. And the other is Click Team Fusion, which I made for all my itch.io games. Free edition. So you still completely zero dollar budget friendly. So, first we're going to be doing Scratch. I'm going to press Create. Then, and on Scratch, you have a wide variety of sprites that you can choose from. Everything from music to all the way to, I don't know, food. Like, a, like our Lord Fortune cookie here. But let's say you want to use the sprite that you made in Piscal. So you want to go to this little area right here and upload sprite. Then, right here. See this cute little dude? We're gonna make him move. So, one green flag clicked. Forever. If. Um, I use WASD, so I'm gonna make it WASD. But you can make it arrow keys. But, since for time's, time's sake, I'm gonna do <laughs> arrow keys. So. With up arrow pressed, I think change Y by 10, or you can change the values to be something like um, 5. Oh. Um, I always use WSD. So, as you see, it moves up. And if down arrow is pressed, it's negative 5. So, a good way to remember it is up, if you're up in the clouds, you're positive, but if you're down below, you're negative. So and then, if left arrow press, change x by 5. And x is the left right movement, and y is the up and down movement. So if left arrow, cast, if left arrow key pressed, change x by 5. And if right arrow press, negative 5. So now, if you see, we can now, oh, I made it the wrong way around. So, if right arrow pressed, change x by 5, and if left arrow pressed, negative 5. And we have a perfectly good movement script. So now we're going to learn how to do this on Click Team Fusion. So you want to open up Click Team Fusion 3 edition. I'm using version 2.5, so new application. You want to double click on this frame. Then right click, insert object, active, and just place it anywhere on the screen. Then edit, if you want to get your sprite from Pisco in here. And then you can just erase this ugly whatever it's supposed to be. And then you can press import or control O. And then your Pisco PNG. Okay. As you see, that's our little Pisco PNG. Dude. So if you want it, if you want him 
to it like an RPG. You want to go to properties and movement. Type eight directions. And then if you press run application, as you can see, you can now move around with arrow keys. But if you want to change it to WAST, you can, I think it's go to frame one or something. I'm really too lazy to look right now, so. Yeah, I'm actually too lazy to do it right now. So. But now, what if you want to make it an actual, like, kind of game? So, insert object, active again. Just place that there. Then, you can go back to pistol if you want to, or you can just do it in click infusion itself and then circle tool sorry I accidentally made the outline yellow I want to make it um the other color then coin I'm just gonna make a cool look little coin Let's see a second, it looks more like a 5 than an S. I just want to do a line down the middle. Then I'm going to do a yellow. Oh no, not that yellow. And press Ctrl Z to go back. And then, if you look at tool, boom. And just fill in these spots. And if you want to add a little bit of shading, you can. Like this. It kind of looks ugly, but hey, what are you going to do about it? How long have we been recording? Well, seven minutes. Too bad. Not too bad. Sorry, there's a there's a freaking plane fry flying over my house right now. Just going to add a little bit of It's just most of the food is just gonna be art, okay. Boom. I'm gonna do the same as what we did with the main character sprite. And then you can add it. Just delete all this. Import. Then boom. Okay. Then we have our coin. Well then, if we, oh no, not build and run, sorry, I'll, do, I'll teach you how to do that later. Hold on, let me adjust my microphone. Okay, that's kind of better for me. So, if you press run application, you see you can move with arrow keys. But how come it doesn't hide the coin? Well, that's because we haven't done any programming. So you want to go to Event Editor, New Condition, Active, Collisions, Another Object, and you want to click on the coin right here. So Collision Between, Baba. Ba. Well, actually, no, I think that's supposed to be something else, sorry. Um, collisions, Overlapping Another Object. Yeah. So, blank is overlapping blank. You want to go to this and destroy. So if you go to run application now, as you see, it just hides the coin. So, and to make it more without like adding more actives, you can just copy and paste or can just control C and control V. And this is actually, and this is actually Kind of like one of my games I made on, I actually released on itch.io called Colon Collector. So and then we press run application again. As you see, you got all the coins. But we want to add a score, so insert object, score, then just place wherever I'm going to make it right here. Okay. And then we want to go back to events. Then that, 
then score not to score then you can do whatever but I'm gonna do one cause I'm goofy obviously run application again for some reason I made that one so I'm probably gonna just move those around because they're probably too close together That's the score and everything. So, what if you want to add a win condition? So, um, I want to go to this one right here. You press two, and then click on this. Go to insert object, string, place it wherever. Say, you win. Boom. And you can go to right click right click properties for some reason it is shut up um properties then font and do bold and you can change increase the size oh god where are they gonna come on i want time crunch here you win so i want to go to events again on frame one I guess we gotta switch back to frame one. Do events, do condition. Um. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry, bird editor. Sorry, I'm really not good at doing this type of stuff. Um. to player score so equal greater or equal so how many do we have there um frame one three four five six seven eight nine let's just make it ten let's place it right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay ten so go back to events, new condition, compare to player score, equals 10, we want to change that to greater or equal, okay, score of player is greater than 10, we want a next frame. If we actually play the entire game, As you see, you win if you get to 10. What if, what if you want to have sound effects? So, you have to download it, but it's called SF, F, SFXR. So, I'm just going to scroll down a lot because I downloaded this a long time ago. SFXR right here. And as you see, Hopefully it won't be too loud because I watched the video, my scratch video a while ago and it was loud as heck. So, um, pick up corn. That's good enough. Hopefully it doesn't hurt you guys' ears out. So, export WAAV. I'm just going to do this. Pick up coin. So and then, oh, I didn't mean to. This one want to open up Fifteen Fusion, and then go back to this. Then samples, deploy sample. Then from a file, pick up coin WAV. And then if we run the application, you want. And that's how you make a game clicked in Fusion.